30 uh, college basketball tomorrow. Uh, t- tomorrow. You've got three tomorrow, yeah, let, me, let me try to help the, the audience here uh, cash the tickets here. I, I like, uh, you know, I got a call from, from a friend of mine who uh, thinks thinks uh, Cesar Guerrero has a chance to play tomorrow, and if that happens, I'm going to like uh, – uh, I like I like Fresno State six thirteen getting getting three and a half. Uh, you know Nevada's. I saw them play against Long Beach. They absolutely stunk that game. I know they're playing a little better. They just beat UNLV. Um, I, I like I like Fresno getting the points in this game. I just I just think Nevada's uh, more of a coach team, and I just think Fresno's playing better. You know they had they beat San Diego State uh, earlier. Uh, uh, last week, and they beat, uh, you know, they won two in a row, also beat Utah State at home, so they've turned around from their non-conference struggles, and if they get their point guard back, uh, I think they shouldn't should have any trouble winning the game. Uh, that's one of, the, one of the plays. And then another one is this, is uh, 6-16 Wyoming, playing, had a very well, very good uh, season so far, and Boise State, who was way down athletically from last year, and now Dermich got hurt, so they they really lack scoring punch. Uh, Wyoming's a tremendous defensive team, big effort defensively, and and that's a that's a tough place to go. It's a great home court, and it's up there in uh, Laramie. They they whip folks up there, uh, and this is a, a, a Boise team that's way down. And so I like Wyoming minus six is another side I like. Rotation number six sixteen. Yeah, virtually a wire-to-wire win last out in Fort Collins against Colorado State. That's a big win for their conference uh, uh, championship hopes. Wyoming this year 14-2, and and as Bertie said, Boise's without Anthony Drimmich. Third and final play, Bertie. Right, 663, uh, the green and gold game uh, in the conference tournament last year. Uh, and they have everybody back except for Kyle Boswell. Santa Barbara lost by 39 as the conference champions last year to Cal Poly, got embarrassed. Uh Cal Poly's a little, maybe a little hungover from a Hawaii win and have traveled a lot. And Santa Barbara's had this game circled. Uh, I think they'd go up the uh, Central Coast there and get a, a win at Mont Jim. Uh, 663, Santa Barbara minus one and a half. You can lay that one and a half at win uh, if it's still available there. Betting number 663, UCSB uh, minus the one and a half. Not sure when is open this late, but uh, attack them first thing in the morning. Uh, they sometimes have some uh, off numbers in college basketball. Oh, South Point. They're open 23 hours a day. They, yeah, I was going to say that. 23. Yeah. South Point yep. uh, uh, is open uh, every hour except, I believe, like the 4 o'clock. Our place is open. I know in the old days, John, on an NFL playoff weekend, they'd be open later for people to bet. It's an embarrassment what's happened. Really, they, they cut back in this town, and no, they're, you know, that. I, back in the day, the Stardust go around the clock. I used to love that. Oh, the whole the whole town was twenty four hours on you know on on NFL Sunday. Yeah, not anymore, Bertie. It's uh, it, it, oh. a lot has changed. They've cut back. I was at a spot the other day. How about this? They don't have enough help. They they closed the gift shop for thirty minutes so the lady could take a, a lunch break. Uh, the gift shop was just closed in the middle of the day. Now and you know twenty four hour coffee shops have uh, really disappeared a lot, too. That used to be a staple here in town, 24-hour I remember going to Leroy Sportsbooks, and the guy would be on a coffee break, and he couldn't get the bit down. Embarrassing. That'll wrap up our program. For Robert Gary Revdell, for Matt Hatfield, I'm John Kelly. Thanks for listening to the EOG Sports Hour.